Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm mounting some solar panels. Last year I mounted some solar panels on the roof of my garage over here and I actually bought eight solar panels and then when I well closely read the specs of my solar charge controller uh, it would only be able to do strings of three which meant that I had two solar panels that I was not able to mount because well I couldn't make a string of three I could actually make a string of two but I didn't do so um, I had them waiting for next year so this year I went down and I bought four more solar panels that's that's four um, and um, so last year I got up two strings of three and this year I'm gonna be able to make two more strings of three um, essentially doubling my solar capacity here at my playhouse so um, I have started this I have three solar panels standing over here they're kind of big they're not that tall I'm sure it stands I'm sure it's on the label here here is the label of them you can pause this if you really want to close up read it 166 and a half centimeters 99.2 centimeters and 4 centimeters um, they are rated for 285 watts and yeah you can series them up to about a thousand volt DC operating temperature yeah they have kind of an open circuit voltage of 38 volts and yeah operating maximum power voltage 32 volts on the load and they should be able to give out 8.9 amps short circuit uh, that would be 9.51 amps so yeah these are half panels um half hp is is something here and we can kind of see it over here if we zoom out here we can see that all of these panels are half and then they're soldered together they should produce better in clouded conditions you can kind of see that there's a string going from this bus bar down here and it goes up and there's another bus bar up at the top and it goes down again like that so that's one solar panel that that lives right there there's another one here and another one there and the same thing on the second half and um, so yeah that should help so that if part of the solar panel is blocked by a shadow or a leaf or something well it will still produce good power or some power not zero power so yeah i have started this this is the three solar panels that i have not yet mounted but up here on my garage over here i have started mounting solar panels so let's climb up here kind of have to um, be sure that the windmill is not spinning too fast when you climb up here so so last year we had this roll and this roll up and running and I've just mounted this roll over here I have I'm messing with the wires right now so and here where I'm sitting uh, this part I'm gonna put three solar panels um, along on top of these so yeah we're getting along have really had some crappy weather here lately so I haven't gotten nearly as far with this project as I had hoped for I bought the solar panels like two weeks ago so I really should get a move on this is the tiny solar panel for the robot lawnmower um, I have to upgrade that the solar lawnmower is not getting enough power for mowing the lawn on on really bad solar days so um, i have to do something there but yeah right now it's charging in the basement we are um, i am making these cables for the solar connectors i went out and i bought some more of this um this is some very nice for the purpose solar cable it's it's not that cheap I got 15 meters and I paid about $25 or something for for this cable and my cousin came and gave me an uninsulating or a, a thinky to remove insulation so um, yeah we're gonna try that it has it has different measurements up here so you can see the different uh, wires 
I guess this is is that gauges? I don't know. This is this is millimeters. So we are gonna uninsulate this, and the inside is six millimeters. So this should be good. So you just clamp it in there and you move it around, and at some point it should just come off. Um, and I didn't clamp it enough, I guess, because it's did not do that. There we are. Remove the insulation. Cool. I'm putting on these solar connectors, solar power connections. I have to remember to put this on first because, uh, well, well, I am only putting them on one end of the cable, so I, so I could actually fix this afterwards. But it's it's nice to do it now. So putting those on and that one on, and then we need to put on this one. And that goes in here like that I'm gonna clamp that on and I'm gonna solder it afterwards I have a clamping tool here I think we can use and see if we can do that okay first we need we need ah god we need these to be a bit closer together, otherwise they won't fit in there. There. Now they're clamped on there. I think it can do one more. There. And I will, um, I'll solder this as well. I'll just put the cable down there and I'll solder the connection have the solder out and I have the Ryopi I did a review on this soldering iron and I really like it so a lot of people has been talking about that it wasn't temperature regulated readily regulated yeah you can't do that but it's very nice and hot so for stuff like this where you just need to move a lot of heat over um, in short time it's very good for that. I would pick something else if I'm doing in a late in some later videos we're gonna be doing some electronic. I will pick another soldering iron to do that because uh, this is not the best for that. So that is soldered on there. I wonder where, where all that solder went. So about these connections last year, um, they are available from China or Amazon, wherever you want um, your connectors from. Um, they're not that expensive, but they um, they work rather well. And this, they are like a standard. So you put those in, or that in, come on out. And you make sure that uh, it needs to come further up front. I don't think I have it in for far enough. Or at least I'm worried that I don't have it in far enough. I'm gonna check that. It's it's good enough. The other connector has a pin that goes in there and meets up with this. Uh, but yeah. Um, so we put this on. That goes in there. Then there is another gravity thing. Oh, okay, that goes on here. The connector actually turns around without the wire um, following along, at least not yet. When I tighten this, the, the wire is gonna turn with the connector. There, cool. And these has the water ceilings. I do believe that the water ceiling is on the other connector, but well, I've made one connector and this connector is just gonna have one connector in one end and the other one goes down into a a fuse or a automatic fuse block thinky so let's see what I've... yeah this is not on there very well uh, let's not fall down if we can avoid that gravity sucks so i have in here i've i've put a piece of tape uh, around those two connectors can you see that if we move this plant yeah, you can. I'm still not sure what this does. Oh, well, that's for the... Okay. 
um, just so that I don't pull them too long. I have the wire and I have it going in here. And, oh, I can actually push it in there right now. I've done the same thing with the other wires. It has worked mm, great, fine, no problems. So in the garage, oh, they come in up here under the roof. I'm just gonna tighten, pull the wire a little bit. So they kind of have the same length up there. And they go over here and I have this switch box that I mounted last year. Um, the first two oh, have 16 amp fuses. Uh, that takes two panels. Um, oh, on the first two panels here, it takes one panel on each. I uh, really need a fuse box more, but well, I'm gonna go and order that. And that's this is just so I can connect and disconnect and if they see more amperage than on the block they should switch off so it's um it's very convenient when you're working with this that you have the ability to switch things on and off it's it's dirty as hell in here but um, i'm just gonna put the wires over here i have the other one from um, down behind the panels uh, the panel has two wires so this one i mounted before i started doing the video and the other one I mounted right just now and it's down here on the floor and we will put that the same way and shorten it so in this configuration where the solar panels are next to each other uh, these cables are long enough uh, if you want to take them to go from one panel to the next but when I'm putting them on top of each other that's not gonna do it so I need to figure out how much I need so I'll reconfigure this and we'll measure how long a in between cable I need to make. Now that they're on top of each other and I want them to be pointing the same way. Um, probably does not have any but I need to go from here about there and down to there. This one would be able to, to turn a little bit around but it probably needs to go all the way just to make sure. So. I need two of these cables. That's considerably longer than I was thinking. 180 centimeters. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I just manhandled one of the three solar panels that are gonna be sitting here. Up there, that wasn't fun at all. Um, so I'm not gonna show that. It would probably look embarrassing. I'm gonna go into the basement and I'm gonna make those two cables uh, 1.8 meters long so that I can connect those when I um, manhandle the last two panels up there. And it's gonna be nice to have this corner free over here at my playhouse again. Um, they have kind of been taking up space here. So yeah, that's, that's gonna be nice too. So yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. I have done lots of videos doing this. Just thought that I would kind of bring you up to speed of... Um, I got more panels. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.